In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this Batman logo that I made by tracing out one of these Batman logo variations and then modifying it. I use my new logo on this model of a Batmobile that I am developing. I want to change the view from user perspective to top orthogonal and delete the default cube. This can be done in four key presses numpad 5, numpad 7, the delete key followed by the enter key. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, tick background images, click the black triangle to open up the panel, add image, open. Go to the folder where you have your Batman logo, select the file and open. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add Curve Bezier. Go into edit mode. Scroll down and in the Curve Display panel untick Normals. Drag to close the Properties panel. Drag to make the Properties window wider. Click the Curve Properties. I'm going to double the resolution to 24 to give us a nice smooth curve. Select the first point of the curve, press G to grab and move that near to but not onto one of the points. Select the second point of the curve, press G to grab and move that near to but not onto the point. Pan, shift and middle mouse button and move the point into the middle. Then zoom in with the mouse wheel, select the point, press G to grab and move it to the point where the two curves would cross. In the curve menu, control points, set handle type, vector, notice shortcut key is V. Select the handle, press G to grab and move it so that the handle is tangential to the top curve about there. Pan, shift and middle mouse button. Select the point, press G to grab and move that to where the two curves would cross. Press V and change the point to vector. Select the handle, press G to grab and move that so that it is tangential to the bottom curve. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan. Now the length of the handle governs the amount of curvature. Press G to grab and fine tune that so that the line matches the curve. Select the point and press E to extrude to create a new point. Put the new point near the point on the wing but not on it. Shift middle mouse button to pan and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press G to grab and move the point to where the two curves would cross. Select the handle, press G to grab and make the handle tangential. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, pan, shift the middle mouse button, select the other handle, G to grab and make that tangential and increase its length to increase the curvature. Select the other handle, press G to grab and increase its length. Pan, shift the middle mouse button and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the point, press E to extrude to create the new, a new point, place the new point Select the handle, G to grab, and put that at a tangent. Select the other handle, G to grab, put that at a tangent, and adjust its length. Again, pan, shift and middle mouse button. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select the point, press E to extrude, place the new point. Select the handle, G to grab, and put that at a tangent. Select the other handle, G to grab, put that at a tangent and adjust its length. One more time, select the point, press E to extrude and place the point where the two curves would cross. Select the handle, G to grab and put that at a tangent. Select the handle, G to grab and put that at a tangent. I notice this point needs moving, G to grab and move it up. And this needs adjusting, G to grab. 
Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift middle mouse button. Go into object mode and duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Mirror the duplicate, object, mirror, X global and enter. Hold down shift and select the original and join the two halves. Go back into edit mode. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan down shift and mouse wheel. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the end of the line on one side, hold down shift, select the end of the line on the other side, press F to make segment. Select a handle, press G to grab. Now I want to put this as a tangent, but I'm going to put it on one of the thicker grid lines. Select the other handle, G to grab, and again I'm putting it on one of the thicker vertical grid lines. Curve, snap, selection to grid. Curve, snap, selection to grid, and that should make them symmetrical. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, pan up, shift and mouse wheel, select one of the bottom ends, hold down shift and select the other bottom end, press F to make segment, scroll down and click subdivide, select the new point, press G to grab, Y for the Y direction and move that down, select the handle, press G to grab and put that at a tangent, select the other handle, G to grab and put that at a tangent, Select the handle, G to grab, put it as a tangent and adjust its length so that the curve fits. Select the handle, press G to grab, put it as a tangent and adjust its length. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Pan, shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to make the grid darker. File, user preferences. Themes. 3D view. Click the grid color. Its hex value by default is 40, 40, 40. Drag the slider to make it completely black. Press G to grab a handle and put that on a grid point. Curve, snap, selection to grid. Notice shortcut key is Shift and S. Select the handle, G to grab, put it on a grid point. Shift, S, selection to grid. Select handle, G to grab onto grid point, shift S selection to grid, select handle, G to grab, onto grid point, shift S snap selection to grid. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, file user preferences and reset to default theme. Click the plus to open up the properties panel and untick background images, drag to close that. Go into object mode and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. The outline can be extruded by dragging on the extrude field and a bevel can be applied by dragging on the bevel field. I'm going to set both values to 0.1. The outline can be filled by changing the shape to 2D. To create a 2D bitmap image from the logo, set the extrude and the bevel values back to zero. Change the view to the top view. Select the lamp and delete it. That takes us to the world settings. I'm going to use the cycles render. Click use nodes and set the background color, the red and the blue values to zero. And I'm going to set the green value to 0.8. In the outliner window, select the camera and change it to orthographic. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, drag on the orthographic scale and use the X and the Y values to position the logo. Select the logo, drag to make the properties window wider, click the material button, click the add new material button, change the surface to emission, click the color, Drag to make the green 0 and the blue 0 to give us a red. Click the render button. Change the device to GPU compute if you have a compatible graphics card. Click render and we get a red logo on a green background. Next I'm going to have a quick look at the freestyle system. But with the cycles render there is no freestyle panel. Changing the render back to the blender internal. 
we have a freestyle panel. Tick freestyle and change the line thickness to two. Click the render layers button, scroll down and change the panel to thickness, add modifier calligraphy. Now when we render that, we get a nice calligraphy outline. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the file I traced out and the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.